Hello again. Before the video starts, I'd like to politely ask that you like and subscribe. It helps both me and the channel. Why not leave a comment as well? Who knows, you might get another weird comments video. Now, on to the main event. So, a lot of people have been doing their ideal Thomas series, and I thought, hmm, why not give it a shot? In videos like these, I tend to yap on a bit, so I'd like to just get straight into it this time. First off, we've got the one and only, Thomas the Tank Engine. Now, for me, Thomas is an E2. Um, excuse me, Mr. Dot Tomo the Scarlet, the, the E2s are way too big for uh, Thomas. Far too long, too. <laughs> Thomas is more suited as a G5 or a freelance, as I say, or Arthur Keith. The fact that you guys call yourself rail fans, yet continuously believe that an engine that's literally the size of a Jinty is too big? SMH, shaking my head. You guys disgust me. Anyway, as I was saying, Thomas is just a classic, normal, stock standard E2. However, for those who've seen Railway Origins and my Thomas Comes to Breakfast video, you'll notice something. You'll realize that Thomas actually doesn't have his iconic extended side tanks. Now, I don't have any issue with extended side tanks. However, I think Thomas just looks better without them. Just a personal preference, really. And it makes him even more broken for when he outruns Spencer in Hero of the Rails. Overall, Thomas is just practically the same. And um, yeah, that's basically Thomas. Bit of a short video, but the next engine will be Percy. Yeah. Alright, bye guys.